everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so by my video title you guys already know that I actually jumped out of my comfort zone and I tried a blue lipstick so I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did I really had a lot of fun doing this video I know this look is not like an everyday go-to type of makeup look like I normally do but you know this video is actually dedicated to all girls and guys out there and to actually give your confidence and I'm I want to inspire y'all to actually jump out of your comfort zone and try something new and adventurous and amazing and just enjoy life. If you don't try new things out, you'll never know what you're actually missing. You never know whether you're actually going to like it in the end. Before I started YouTube, I never ever in a million years would ever try a blue color lipstick. I always like to stick to my nudes or my pinks. And yes, I wouldn't have jumped out of my comfort zone and tried something different if it wasn't for you guys. It's because of all the beautiful and lovely comments and support y'all have actually given me that made me try new things together with you guys. I truly hope that this video inspires you guys to actually try something different and if you do try something different, do tag me in Facebook or Instagram and share with me your, your pictures and beautiful moments and so I truly hope that you enjoyed this beautiful blue lipstick makeup tutorial. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys! Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna apply on my face is the Laneige Water Bank Essence and this is just to moisturize my skin before applying anything else. So I'm just gonna lightly massage that into my skin and then I'll go in with the pore and line filler from Sephora and this will help to actually fill in my open pores and even out my skin. So you just wanna lightly massage it into your skin and then I'll go in with my LA Pro Conceal in the shade Orange and then I'm just going to correct underneath my eyes, my smile line areas and my chin and then I'll go in with my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'll just buff out the orange concealer evenly across my face. So today I'm actually going with my Urban Decay Foundation, so I'm in the shade 8.0. I'm just going to apply it with my MSQ Foundation Buffer Brush and apply it all around my face. So I'm just going to skip through this part really, really quick. Then for my concealer, I'm also using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Dark Neutral. I'm just applying that underneath my eyes, my chin, my smile lines, my nose and my forehead. And then I'll be going in and pairing it up with the Maybelline Mineral Concealer in O2 just to give it a highlighted effect. So I'm just going in with my e.l.f. staple brush and blending out the concealer. At the same time, I'm also going to prime my eyelids. You can also use a beauty blender for this. And what you want to do is just blend it out in zapping motions. Then to set my under eye area, I'm actually going to go in with Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder. I'm in the shade Medium. And I find that this powder actually really works really, really well with the Urban Decay Concealer because it doesn't leave your underneath your eye area too over drying. So I like to use this powder to set my concealer underneath my eyes and wherever that I actually applied my concealer. And then I'll go in with the Revlon Loose Face Powder in O2 and I'm just going in with my MSQ powder brush and just setting the rest of my face. So on to the eyes now. So I'm actually going in with my Sephora Color Wonderland Palette and I'm actually picking up this very nice dark brown and I'm actually using my Essence Blending Brush and I'm just applying that at the crease area. Just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As you see, I'm not actually blending it out too much just to define my crease area and then I'll be going in with my Morphe Cafe Macchino. And then I'll be blending it out with my Morphe M433 brush. So I'm actually taking a lot of time to actually blend it out so it doesn't give me any harsh lines. And then I'm actually going to pick up that very beautiful silver shade. And I'm just applying that with my fingers but you also can use a synthetic brush to apply this shade. Both ways work as well. Then just to blend everything out, I'm just going to go in with my Morphe B79 brush and I'm just lightly blending it out. So on to liner now and as you can see I'm actually using a very different technique. I'm actually using an end of a product to give me a guideline of where I'm going to line my liner. So I'm actually going in with the Essence Easy to Use. I only use this technique when I actually apply my foundation on first before doing my eye makeup. So instead of putting the scotch tape method, I'll actually use an end of a product and actually give me a guideline to where to line my liner. So yeah. 
that's another trick that if you guys didn't know you guys can actually try it out then the next shade i'm actually going to use is the my new morphe eyeshadow and it's in the shade called sapphire and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my elf eyeliner brush and i'm just going to tightly pack it underneath my lower lash line as you can see i am not going to blend it out i'm just going to tightly pack it there and i'm just going to leave it there so it gives me a very nice beautiful blue effect at the bottom so as you can see, my Essence Easy to Use Pen Liner, it's actually really, really very sharp and very precise. So I'm going to use the very tip of the eyeliner and I'm going to extend my tear duct slightly out. The reason why I did this is because as you can see, it gives you a very nice, beautiful cat eye look. So for lashes, I'll be going in with the Adele Glamour Lashes and it's in 107 Black. And so I'm just going to go off camera, apply the lashes and I'm back. Then I'll be going in with my Australis Killer curves mascara as you can see i'm actually clearing the tip of my mascara so that when you apply it on it wouldn't be too lumpy and clumpy at the same time i'm just going to apply that to my top lashes only and and then for my lower lashes i'll be going in with my l'oreal telescopic mascara in the shade blackest black and I'm just applying that to my lower lashes. So on to contouring. So I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Fawn C. And I'm using my e.l.f. Angle Contour Brush. And I'm just carving out my cheekbones, my nose and my lower lip. And then I like to pair it with the Benefit Hula and bronze up my face, like my forehead, my cheekbones. Uh, and my jawline and then as for blush i'm actually going in with the urban decay after glow in the shape bittersweet and i didn't do it intentionally i know i used a couple of urban decay products today but i didn't realize that i've been using the urban decay products a lot lately and then for highlighter i'll be going in with my three eye concept in the shade bling peach and i'm using my morphe m501 highlighter brush and i'm just highlighting my cheekbone then to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes i'm going in with essence chili vanilla it's a very nice soft matte white shade so i'm just using it to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes to give a very nice look so my very first lipstick i'm going in with the nyx macaroon lippy and it's in the shade chambord i'm actually going to pair it up with the nyx soft matte cream lipstick in the shade moscow and yeah this is actually the highlight of it and i actually really really love how the color looks like on, on my lips is really really very beautiful then i'm actually going in with my msq lip brush and i'm actually just cleaning up the edges because this is an extremely bold lip and i want it to be extremely precise and sharp so i just went in and cleaned up the corners of my lip then just set everything on my face i'm going in with the australia setting spray and i'm just spraying that all over my face and then I'm off to go and do my hair. That's it guys. This brings us to the end of the video. I truly hope that you enjoyed my blue lipstick makeup tutorial. If you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys soon. Bye!